Ag Week weather is sponsored by Bremer Bank. Connect with a banker today at bremer.com. Is the region in need of some moisture? Here's John with our AgriWeather Outlook. October marches on. The weather pattern taking shape for the second half of October is looking seasonally cool. I mean, you get into late October and you just don't see into the northern plains and upper Midwest a lot of hot weather anymore. That's pretty much done for the year. However, we're also really seeing a relative absence of cold. There will be a bit of a cool snap through the uh, into the southeastern part of the country and the extreme east, but uh, nothing really uh, Arctic at all about this. We're going to leave that all up in Canada. And as far as precipitation goes, although there is a weather system moving through uh, over the uh, start of this period, actually almost just preceding this period of time, into the plains and Great Lakes, it looks pretty dry setting up here over the next couple of weeks. So here's the pattern as we begin this on Sunday. We've just had another rain system move out of the Dakotas and it's kind of lingering here with some cool weather dropping down into much of the eastern United States. By cool now this time of year, we're talking 40s and 50s and uh, by cold, we're talking uh, freezing weather or near freezing weather. The warm weather no longer has to be in the 70s and 80s. Some of that can just be in the 70s and the hot stuff is mostly 80s and 90s. So with that in mind, with the jet stream still basically split, polar branch way up north, subtropical, subtropical branch pretty far north, we're seeing not a lot of really cold weather dropping down. It will be persistently cold over here east of Hudson Bay, courtesy this troughiness, and we are seeing some fairly cool weather dropping down into the southeastern states, but it doesn't look like that's going to have a lot of staying power. Warm weather along the Gulf Coast will likely build back. Most of the Great Plains and Midwest for the balance of this week are looking seasonally mild. And as we go through toward the end of the period, starting to see some semblance of a consolidation of the jet stream, though it's still split here around the Great Lakes. And that implies kind of a slow moving, meandering weather pattern. And this split flow here in the eastern part of the continent suggests we're not really going to kick up a lot of big storms. As we go to the second week of the period, a little bit of another trough forms out along the Pacific Northwest. We'll keep things fairly cool into the east, especially New England and eastern Canada or it will actually be cold enough for at least some snow. But most of the United States not called Alaska. The weather is not going to be too cold at all. And it looks generally quite dry. A few areas of rain along the eastern seaboard. Looks like uh, the Pacific Northwest from Washington northward may be quite wet, but most of the United States looks like it's going to be dry pretty much for the remainder of the month of October. With the split flow pattern in the northeastern states, I just don't see any big storms kicking up into the Great Plains.